Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for what is today? The seventeenth. So the seventeenth into the eighteenth. I haven't used this deck in a while, so we're just gonna see what comes up. This is for whoever it resonates with. It's for somebody. It's not for everybody. This morning, I don't know where this came from. I not. I seriously do not know where this came from, but. I woke up with the song, I Want It That Way. I Want It That Way from the Backstreet Boys. That's the song I woke up to. So I just listened to it. It's kind of interesting. Um, it's weird. I don't know where that came from. I Want It That Way. So I don't know if that resonates with you or how that plays a part, but whatever. Backstreet Boys. <laughs> so who knows? Who knows? Now, typically, my readings are focused around love. If you want to fit to any other part of your life, feel free. This reading, like I said, is for somebody, not everybody. And, you know, it's like I keep telling myself for some reason this morning, I don't have time to play games. I don't know where that comes from. It's, I've heard it several times. I don't have time to play games. So I don't know where that's coming from, but it's, it's prominent not going to be playing these games and I don't know what that means or who that's for but I'm not going to play any games oh jeez I'm crow the two of cups mm. oh the chariot which is represented by the sign of cancer but it's in reversed so something may have taken a step back in a relationship. There may have been a, you know, some sort of stalemate even. Something may have all of a sudden come to a halt. Knight of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Death! Shit, maybe it's going to end. This could be a lost opportunity. Somebody may have lost an opportunity in love. This is a missed opportunity for something perhaps that was good. Endings bring new beginnings, right? With a death card. You know, something may just be delayed. It may be just delayed for a minute. Or stalled. Like I said, a stalemate here before this card came out. This is in regards to love. It's in regards to a partnership. It's like with the chariot reverse. It's like there's a, all of a sudden there's a loss of direction. Um... <laughs> Maybe they, somebody needs to refocus. There is an opportunity for a fresh new start, though, with the death card. Because something ends and brings about a new beginning. Wish fulfillment. could lead to something stable and secure with a 10 of pentacles. I mean, this is this is abundance. But it's a 10, so it could be the end of something that could have been abundant because somebody's not taking action right here. I mean, with the chariot reversed, this and this is represented by the sign of cancer. This is somebody who isn't Moving forward, they're not taking action. Then we have the Emperor reversed, the Queen of Swords, who can be a little pissy. And the Magician. We this is we have the opportunity to make this successful. 
I mean, because the magician takes action to make things successful. So, what do we have here? We have an opportunity for love. A, a connection that you are very compatible with. We have a very compatible connection here that could lead to a lot of happiness and abundance. But somebody isn't taking action and they, they have the resources to take action, but they're not taking action. They're not moving in the direction that they need to move in. They're not taking the lead. They're going very slow, moving very slowly. And here with the Emperor reversed, there could be some sort of... There's loss of concentration here with both of these cards. Somebody has kind of lost their, their focus on love, perhaps. This partnership that could lead to a lot of, you know, happiness. This is a gift. It's, it's like it's a... It's a union that was given to you. from above to make you stay to help you feel more abundant in life i mean this is very very beautiful there's a beautiful opportunity for love here there is and it could lead to something really long term abundant but i mean somebody's not taking action here we have the need to be patient, be practical, take all the time you need because the strongest foundations aren't built overnight, right? They aren't built overnight. So I feel as though somebody has has probably, you know, with these two cards right next to each other, somebody may have gotten upset because this is kind of like anger and she can be a little pissy. So somebody may have gotten upset over the lack of, movement or something like that somebody may have gotten upset they may have decided you know I want this now and I want it that way that makes sense she's like I want this now I need it now and yeah oh my god so it feels like you know she does she doesn't she doesn't have a lot of patience she does not have a lot of patience she wants it right now It feels like right now there's some sort of in, uh, intensity. There's some intense feelings. There is. I feel like there could have been some... Angry communication even. Because this is these. there could have been some angry communication that came through. But with the death card, the death card is a completion that allows a renewal. Something ends that brings about a rebirth. Endings bring new beginnings, whatever that means for this reading. This is a release, a transition. The Four of Cups, I mean, that's discontent, that's... An opportunity. It's like you're being offered. Somebody is being offered an opportunity, a blessing from above. And thinking if they want it or not. Just thinking about it, not taking it. Not taking this offer. So you may be thinking about not taking an offer.
or the person you're dealing with with is not think is thinking about not taking this offer. It's a big offer. It's a big one. But you may have other opportunities, right? You have other opportunities. So you're you may not be sure if you want this new beginning, if you want this ace of cups. You want this, do you want this love because this is a commitment? Do you want this? Do you want this commitment or not? There's an opportunity for success. <laughs> this is success. A oneness, a divine connection here. But it takes action to bring success. And somebody's not taking action. And it feels like somebody is being called to, to be optimistic about this new beginning. Be optimistic. Let's get some clarifiers here. There's an opportunity that is being considered but hasn't been accepted. But it could lead to a lot of, I mean... Wish fulfillment. It's it's it is a it's a dream come true with the star card. It really is. The star and death are both cards of renewal. So there's an opportunity for something new. But there's a delay. There's a delay. We had the Queen of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's some there's some conflict. There's some conflict in a partnership because somebody's not moving. Somebody's not communicating. They're not. Somebody is delaying this new beginning. Somebody is delaying there. This is these are the delays. Somebody is delaying this this new beginning. It's like they're just taking time to go within and think about this good and long and hard. Is this partnership what I want? Is this what I want? Am I ready? Am I ready for this contract? I mean, this love. And I think they're really conflicted. We have a man here who is very... He's used to doing things on his own. He's used to getting his own way. And that song makes sense. I want it that way. He's used to being in control. And when you get in a partnership, it takes two. It takes two instead of one. So I feel like there's there's an opportunity to come together and work together and build a lot, uh, build a legacy together with somebody. That leads to, I mean, there's a lot of happiness and wish fulfillment that can come out of this. If somebody can allow this partnership to begin, you don't have to do it all alone. Anyhow, I feel like right now there's an opportunity for a new beginning in love. But it's delayed because somebody is letting their thoughts get the best of them. They're right now they're in thinking mode. Think, 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 think. You know, and they may be deciding to take a break because all of a sudden now there's some sort of choice. 
there's some sort of choice that needs to be made as to whether I really want this or not. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. This is about being practical. Whoever you're dealing with, if you are dealing with a woman, this woman is very intuitive. Okay, she is. She's very um, giving, generous, kind. It could be any sign. Nurturing, motherly, responsible. And you're being you're being called to get grounded as well. She's very grounded. You need to see this in grounded reality. There's a there's an opportunity for this union. This opportunity for love to be lost. This opportunity can be lost. It can be. Because somebody's not taking action, seriously, and they need to. Not communicating when they need to. You may feeling be, be feeling empty inside, or so whoever you're dealing with may be feeling empty inside as they ponder what, what path they should take. But there's an opportunity to come together and work together and appreciate each other and learn from each other if you can just communicate. Communication is needed. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here that could lead to something solid, stable, and secure if you want it. But if you don't want it, if you don't want it, what's going to happen? If you don't accept the offer, what is going to happen? King of Swords. If you don't want it, you may get you may get cut out. If you don't choose an opportunity, if you don't make a choice. The choice may be made for you. So I feel as though there is an opportunity for love that could be lost. Okay. There's an opportunity for love that could be missed. And it's a sad situation because it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a gift. It is with the star card. There's an opportunity for a lot of happiness to come out of this partnership. Okay, there is. They were like this. But somebody is not communicating and nothing, a relationship can't blossom if communication is absolutely positively the key. It is key. So, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment with the star card. For in a partnership, a connection, a connection, a very compatible. Venus, right? Is that Venus? 
Anyhow, very compatible. But it looks like the opportunity isn't being accepted. It's being thought about, but not being accepted. There's Somebody's not communicating. Anyway. So, and it could be because they're so used to doing things on their own. You know, they're so used to being in control the whole nine yards. And this is a huge change. And I think yesterday's daily vibe was about that, that change. You know, really scared. It's going to mess up my singlehood. It is going to mess up your singlehood. You know, if you're in a partnership or whatever, it changes everything. So, um... There is an opportunity for success. Let me just put these two together. They're mirroring each other, so they go together. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment and success. You can do it. You guys can. There is an opportunity. I mean, you have all the resources to make this work. Absolutely. And this is something that you've been manifested. They heard you and they brought it to you. But now... It's almost like you're, you don't want it, which is sad. Let's get a couple of these. This, this is my worst card. I hate this card, the Five of Swords. It's a card of ego and pride. Don't let ego, and if you don't know what it is, feel free to look it up. Don't let ego get in the way of happiness, of a partnership, of wanting to be in control. You know, it's not about being in control. It's about working together. It's about having that one person that you can count on. Unless you want, this guy's going to die alone. He is. Because he doesn't want to make any changes. He doesn't want to give. He, you know, he's stuck on himself. He is. He is going to die alone. It takes two. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. They may be. Maybe you're just focused on your job, your work, you know, or the other person is, and that's why they're not taking action. Who knows? And that's driven by ego. When do you put your put love first? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We'll get one more card. Put love first. That's what that tells me. Put love before anything else. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of yourself. Free yourself from this mentality. Free yourself of ego. What do you want? What's most important to you? This is a card of pride. So anyway, I feel like today is there's a is a day of contemplation. Okay, it is. Do you want this this love or not? Do you? Because this is the Ace of Cups. This is, do you want this love or not? Eventually, they're just going to take it away. This is a blessing. It is. It's a blessing, and there's no doubt. Absolutely no doubt. This is a blessing, and there, this is a, you're being. This is a blessing. It's like God is handing you this blessing. Okay, and you're not taking it. Eventually. He's going to pull it back. And it's going to be a loss. Good luck. 